guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be trying out the very exciting new Max Factor foundation. This is the Radiant Lift Long Lasting Radiance. I've said radiant twice. I mean, that's what it says. So I have mine in the shade Golden Honey. I went in and I swatched a couple of shades. They only have like four or five shades in store. There's actually 18 in the shade range. Um, but yeah, there wasn't that many in my local boots. So this was the darkest warm tone shade that they had. Um, so yeah, that's not ideal. It's brand new at the moment and it has just, it says it's exclusive to Boots. So I'm hoping it will be obviously coming to more places very, very soon. But obviously I guess Boots has got like the exclusive launch on this. This was 14.99, you get a standard 30 mil and it has SPF 30 in it. Let me just read you the description from the Beats website, which is why I was so excited to try this. Listen to this. Max Actor Radiant Lift Foundation refreshes tired looking skin with a natural healthy glow that lasts all day. Apply with a foundation brush or your fingertips to deliver a perfectly flawless finish to your skin. Formulated with hyaluronic acid, increases hydration by 52%, provides a radiant glow and all day coverage, long wear complex infused with hyaluronic acid, you said that twice too. Ultimate hydration, we've already covered that. SPF 30, I'd already mentioned that. Anti-aging formula, smooth coverage, gives a healthy youthful glow. Can I drink you? So you can see from that description why it went straight in my basket. I kind of read, I was reading the description, reading through the ingredients and it very much reminded me, very much reminded me of the Dior backstage. They've got the first two same ingredients, but this one doesn't seem to have alcohol. I know for a lot of people was a concern about this one. So I'll link, or I will list, sorry, the ingredients for this one in the description bar for anyone who wants to see those. And without further ado, let's see if this is a drugstore affordable version of this bad boy. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by priming my skin and I'm using my Galon Or primer, just a nice staple primer that kind of gives us a really nice base but isn't going to, you know, amp up the luminosity of the foundation anymore and it's not going to mattify it so it won't affect the finish too much. It's just going to give us a nice base for the foundation to go on top of. Okay, so I'm going to give it a good shake. The bottle, just looking at the foundation in the bottle, it really reminds me of the L'Oreal True Match because you can kind of see like little flecks of gold in there, which you can see in the True Match as well. So I'm just going to pump out. Okay, so it actually looks quite thick, like it's barely moving on my hand. It's definitely got a scent. It's like smells like perfumey kind of scent. It's not too strong, but I can smell it. Um, now it does say on the website to apply with a brush or fingers, but you know that I like a sponge, so so I'll do one half with my Sigma F80 and the other half I'll use my Beauty Blender. Just to see if there's any dramatic difference. Now I did notice when I was swatching this, I kind of had to pick it up in a rush because I was with my daughter and she gets bored very quickly in shops, particularly makeup shops. So when I first swatched it, you can see how light this is. Probably not actually too far off of my face, but it is a million miles away from my body, which is what I match to when I'm tanned, so that I'm all one color. And as you can see, this is way lighter, but by the time this had dried down, after I swatched it earlier, it should be a decent match. So it has blended in quite nicely. Not too many like brush strokes or anything. I've got a decent coverage. I'd say it's kind of light to medium at the moment. And I can already see on the back of my hand, this is darkening up, can you see that? I know people often say, oh, the foundation oxidized or whatever. And I think to me, I don't think it's oxidizing unless it goes really orange. I think it just dries darker. You usually see that happening more dramatically with matte full coverage foundations. So I wouldn't necessarily expect this one to do that that much. I am gonna take it down my neck because my neck is really pale. And if this does dry down a lot darker, 
my neck's gonna suddenly stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, so I use like two pumps then and most of it is gone. So let's now do a little on this side with the sponge. Definitely say given the like thicker consistency, this I'm, I'm probably using quite a lot in comparison to what I use when I'm using the Dior backstage. Like I definitely don't use this much when I'm using that. Ooh. Oh, this is going really patchy with the sponge. Okay, it actually seems to have sort of sorted itself out a little bit, actually. Mm. It's just, you know when like a foundation kind of goes on like almost like it's a bit sticky? It's kind of doing that and it's almost like as I'm using, I don't know if you can see, you can see it's leaving sponge marks as I'm sort of blending it out. It's like picking the foundation back up with the sponge. So it would definitely seem that they are correct that it is gonna apply better with a brush. So it definitely seems to have sort of sorted itself out now. It's kind of blended in, it's sitting nicely now. So crisis averted. I actually think now the, side, the two sides look both look really, really nice, nice and smooth. My forehead looks really good. It is incredible. Probably already can see that my face is getting closer and closer to like the colour of my body. It's definitely, you know, as it sort of dries down, it's quite dramatically darkening. So I will just stick that in as a as a warning. Make sure if you're swatching this in store, give it, you know, an hour to check before you buy it. For the moment I'd say it's like a medium coverage. I think I'm gonna give it one more pump with the sponge to see how it builds just in those areas and you can see again it's happening again that the sponge is picking it back up and leaving sponge shaped holes in the foundation but then it's like if you carry on it kind of goes okay again I don't know why I picked the sponge back up I think it kind of lured me into a false sense of thinking it was stopping <laughs> it's really weird because it does actually kind of like you can kind of repair it afterwards I just don't really know what's going on with that but you can see when I'm putting that foundation back on it's lightening back up again compared to my forehead so there's definitely quite a bit of dry down happening definitely drying down quite a bit darker than when you initially put it on I mean this is like a solid medium to full coverage. I wasn't really expecting this. I think when foundations say buildable, especially when they're less luminous, they generally go to like a maximum of like a, a medium, but this has covered all my redness, all my discoloration on my forehead. Can barely see my sort of beauty marks, beauty spots, whatever you want to call them, poking through. But yeah, I'd say this is like a full coverage at this point and mega dewy we'll see how this dries down you see how dewy it is and how smooth as well look at my forehead i've turned my lights right down so there's not really any help coming from the lights it has um settled in my smile lines a tiny bit but not that bad it looks really nice on my textured area which is around my chin mega dewy though it looks so smooth do you notice how smooth this looks absolute like it's doing wonders for texture and lines and things incredible looks really gorgeous on my head on my, my head on my forehead but very dewy i hope this is gonna dry down a little more matte just a, just a because at the moment i look a little wet if we're honest okay so i've been away and finished the rest of my makeup and it is looking beautiful so smooth i didn't have any issues putting my makeup on top other than the fact that it is quite a bit lighter than my body still we'll see when i come back and do my checkup um my checkup my check-in my check-in we're not going to the doctors today so we'll see later if we think it's got any closer to my body because obviously my body is quite a bit darker than my face but i don't mind it i think it works once i've put you know bronzer and blusher and stuff on i think it's workable but bear in mind that this was the darkest shade that was in my boots it isn't the darkest shade in the range but i do feel like a lot of dr like drugstores 
I don't know what it's like in the US, but in the UK, you know, this has 18 shades and there were only five in the store. I mean, it has only just launched, but yeah, I'd like to have seen more shades available in the store. But it honestly looks like luminous. All of the dewiness has settled in as it's dried down. I have not set with powder other than my concealer areas under my eye and like down the center of my face, just where I put my concealer. I haven't set the rest of my face. I haven't used a setting spray. I fix plus and that's it. It's very hot today. I'm taking my daughter to the cinema and then we're going for lunch so that and we're running around town. So it will be a bit of a test in the heat um, because I'm already sweating. So yeah. Um, but yeah, at the moment I'm loving it. I did take a flash photo because it does have that SPF 30 in it. So white cast is a concern. Now, bearing in mind that the foundation is a bit light for me, I mean, now my face looks lighter than my body, and I don't think the photo looks any worse, so I definitely wouldn't say there's like a dramatic white cast happening. Maybe there's a slight one, but really nothing too dramatic. So here you can see zoomed in that the real dewiness um, has kind of settled in a little bit and it's now sort of radiance luminosity um, but it's not that sort of real I like have I just you know jumped out the swimming pool effect that we had going on earlier it's so smooth like my texture and everything looks really reduced my forehead looks mega smooth I'm really really liking how this looks right now I think it looks really good I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm really happy with the finish. I'm really happy with the coverage. I think it's done everything it said it was going to do so far. Time has just gone at 11 here, so we will give it the usual eight hours to see how it wears, and then I'll be back. See you in a few. Hi guys, we are back, and what? It is just come out to half past seven, so we are actually approaching like the nine hour mark. And I must say, I'm very impressed. My husband, when he came in from work, um, the first thing he said was, you look really nice today, I love your makeup. Um, so yeah, that is always a good sign if he notices, because obviously I ask him all the time about my makeup, especially when I'm testing like foundations, I'll say, you know, what do you think of my makeup today? Before I'd even said anything, he had like said that he thought my makeup looked really, really good. And I agree, it looks so smooth. It really does. Let's zoom you in so we can get a nice, good close-up look. Now, it has really sunk into these smile lines, as you can see down here, quite dramatically. And not just like the main big ones, but like this sort of secondary ones as well. It's also kind of sunk into my forehead, these lines here, as the day has gone on. And like this one over here, you can see they kind of look worse than they did this morning. So that's a bit sad. But other than that, you can see my nose looks good. My chin area looks good. Kind of under here, which is where I kind of get the most fading because obviously there's no powder going here when I don't set with powder. So up here you've got bronzer, blush. You know, in these, the center of your face, you've got concealer, so you set with powder. This is kind of the only area that never gets any powder there on me because I don't set. This is always kind of an area where I notice like redness coming through first and there's really nothing there. You see like my bronzer, my blush and everything is still looking really good which is a great sign. And everything's just looking so smooth and luminous still but still not wet, still not like dewy, I wouldn't say. So I feel like, again, this isn't gonna, you know, really get a lot oilier throughout the day unless you are very oily. Um, in which case, again, because I haven't seen, you know, real any kind of oiliness or shininess coming throughout the day, I know it kind of looks a bit shiny here, but I think that's mainly the lights um, reflecting off there. It really doesn't look shiny in my mirror at all. So yeah, I think that even would be worth a try even if you have oily skin because it is so hydrating and quite often people with oily skin are actually lacking in hydration. So I think it would really be worth a try for like a majority of skin types. So yeah, I mean, pretty much a thumbs up across the board. I really liked how this has looked today. It hasn't, just to clarify, it hasn't got any darker than it did from like our starting point. So I don't think it's really oxidized. I think it does dry a bit darker as it sets. 
I will just say it still feels tacky even now, like a tiny bit tacky. So if that's gonna bother you, it's not gonna be for you. I also did notice some transfer when I was like cuddling my kids earlier, you know, they were getting sort of makeup on their clothes. Now it hasn't left any sort of patchiness on my face, but if you are at really anti transfer, then I don't think this is transfer proof. I don't think so. Um, is it a dupe for the Dior? To me, this one beats anything, and I think where and the fact that this does not so settle into my lines at all, not even these ones, this is obviously the winner. However, if you are looking for a drugstore dupe as close as possible to this for a more reasonable price, then this is probably the closest that I can think of. If you are looking for a drugstore foundation that is very smoothing, that has loads of hydrating, um, products in there that is really good for dry skin that is a luminous finish with pretty much full coverage this is a very very good option it's been very hot here today it's worn very well yeah I don't really have anything bad to say about it I've really loved it anyway I hope you found this review helpful if you did please like and subscribe before you go so we can see each other again otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.